here. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. You didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez. What kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Take it easy, Flash. This is still a badge you're talking to. Now that the formalities are out of the way, what do you got for us? Alright, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn Flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Hines to Marsh. Hines to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep, got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. All right. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Hmm. So stealth is one of my least favorite things in any game. I'm really bad at stealth. I'm not patient. I don't like waiting. So we're going to get around it by just... Quick saving a lot and wandering semi aimlessly. Okay, what do we got? Uh, ship reports. Weather. That's not helpful. Status. Engines off. All right, log. Mm, yep, not succeeding at that one. I'm assuming Lighthouse is no good on either of these. Oh, no, this was Lighthouse. Okay, cool. Start engines, sound harm, deck cams on. Okay. Deck security enabled. That's probably a bad idea. Engines primed and engaged. Control routed to helm. I don't know if that's a good idea. But why not? Okay. Downtown. Yeah, do not go on a killing spree. Bit of a shame. But understandable-ish. Okay, we're gonna be saving a whole lot. And thank you, Arborize, for the four-month resub. Okay, so we've got a cop here. Now the thing is, I'm not sure if this is valid. Man, that bites. Okay, it's this one. There we go. Bad thing. Okay, if you look Turn on the cams, you can look through some of them to skip stealth. Interesting. I don't know, mm, eh. Oh. Put a point in, into stealth, or two. We'll just put two points into stealth. Apparently having no points into stealth is a bad idea. Right 
Yeah, so I can't I can't just feed off of cops. Dang. I was really hoping I could I could feed off of them. Yeah, try not to go on a killing spree. So I guess I could, actually, if I really wanted to. Why do presents? Do they just bail? I don't know. We'll find out. No, interesting alternatives. I wonder if you can just bail. Or is this back where I, back where we were? Yeah, no. So that's not gonna work. Oh, is that a fun, this is a functional ladder. Aha. Man, these guys are... We're just gonna have an insane amount of unnecessary screenshots here. I could just try and, like, run away from them or something. I don't know if it's gonna work. You a Torador? No, I'm a Bruja. Not exactly built for this kind of thing, to be totally honest. I have an alternative plan, but it's not a good one. Ripes. I don't really know. They they pretty much know I'm here. So, I just have to inspect the thing. Well, I'm gonna quick save, I guess. Uh, can't believe that actually worked. Uh,. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just be here for a little while. Might as well wait for my HP to regen. They kind of vaguely know I'm around. Let's destroy this generator. No, not really. All right, uh, let's see, is that ammo? That's evidence. It doesn't look like it's anything I can just interact with. I, I know I'm dying. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I'm trying to go for here. I was hoping I could like flip off the generator or something and actually do something. I'm not sure. Holy crap. It just saves all my quick saves. That's awesome. Usually games only let you have one. This one lets you have a ton. So what am oh. I thought I saved over in the other section. So I've explored the crime scene. So... You now need to find the report to your left when heading to the coffin and right heading back. So it's not this like weird thing on the table? Because it looks like it's evidence. Nope, none of that. I'm just gonna try and find it. Is it this? No. Hmm.
Maybe it's like in one of these sections here. I realize that I'm just doing final death. Is it near the coffin or because like there's there's bags full of ev evidence you think you could grab, but I am I am mildly lost here. Okay, it's sep separate from the coffin scene. Okay, that's all I really need to know. Because, like, it looks like there's things that you're supposed to be able to interact with, but you can't, and it's confusing. Okay. Can I squeeze through here? No. Silly question. Well, those points in stealth are doing work. Let's go into third person so we just see how goofy this looks. Okay, so I'm actually pretty hard to detect comparatively. I guess the extra points in decks make a difference. Oh, cool, ladder. Well, we should probably save, seeing as we're good. Yeah, crouching, the finest of stealth techniques. Yeah. Okay, so where's this report? I'm assuming it's not even in here, it's... M maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep quick saving semi compulsively and just try and look. Who's there? It's like they're vaguely aware that I exist, but not aware enough to actually find me. Maybe it's up. Oh, it's in that area, in a nook between the crates. Blech. Okay, well, not this nook. Not this nook. Oh, there it is. They have discovered me. Again. Don't mind me. Just bouncing on your head. Ah, oh, shit, I went the wrong direction. Owie. Hurts. Hurts like Dickens. Like reading Charles Dickens. Alright, we're safe. Let's go back out of there. Out, out of here? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna quick save. I mean, they're blind as hell. They're gonna be like, stop right there, and then it's gonna be like, eh? And then they forget about me. And then I'm golden again. I just got turned around. It's an awkward mission, though. Oh, that's fine. We'll be out of here shortly. Oh. Is this... What does Crane release do? I think I squandered it. I used to get a records room key, which I don't even know where the records room is. But that's okay. It's somewhere back in the, uh, I'm presuming somewhere back in there. The problem is the door that I was expecting. the baseball bat. Well, I guess he took care of himself. Unfortunately, we still have like a buttload of cops right there. Makes this harder? Not really. 
The main problem is that guy. He sucks a bit. We're gonna keep, keep quick saving. There we go. Oh, records room. Sweet. Got the ship manifest. And then they're going to forget about me for a while. Actually, I don't think they have the key, so I'm just bailing. Oh, difficulty of six. Oh no! Uh, did I never... Oh. I guess I didn't put enough points into dexterity there. Uh, speed... Lock picking, sneaking. Yeah, it's worth it. Really? Where does this lead? Where am I? Where have I snuckered myself out to? If that's a lot of blood. Alright. Oh! Are we just here? Come on. Really now? Give me that blood. Ow. Well, okay, fine. No humanity loss for that. Main problem is, we've still got... Captain Shotgun here. These guys are cheating. I'm sorry, what? You shooting me how? He's shooting me through a closed bulkhead door and the floor. This hasn't aged well. Well, let's just save. And what happened with the graphics? Uh, they didn't get saved as PNGs, they got saved as JPEGs instead. Which leads to things being a bit screwy. Okay, he's dead, I believe. Try and get a bit of HP here. Kind of surprised this is working. There we go. Ragdoll, please. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. I don't know if it's quite a bloodbath, but... I, do I have to hop out? Uh, well, that's probably fine. <laughs> I think that's probably fine. I'm sure... I'm sure I'm gonna get chastised for... Well, that. But you know what, grand scheme of things, I came out alright. Everybody's like, I hate this mission, and I agree. But at least it wasn't as bad as everybody seemed to make it out to be. And who knows, maybe it's one of those where it's like... It is actually considerably easier if you know what you're doing. I just... Eh. Entire mission can be done without going on deck. Really? Okay, so... Mud Hunt... Lucky Star Motel, that's downtown. And then that's the same thing as Mud Hunt. So report back to the prince, I guess. Bleh. You're shot, two fight. <laughs> You're right, there was a lot of blood on the ground, but most of that was there before me. So... 
I'm not going to claim credit. I killed like what? Two, three cops? That's not really a bloodbath. I could have killed them all, honestly. Okay, no. I'm hey! Oop. I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Oh, I see. I could have used the cameras to view the crime scene. I figured that would just let me spy on the cops, which is just awkward. Anyway. Let's see. That's hard to do these nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here. I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Creepy. Well, I could just send her away. I don't even know what she gave me. Yeah. No, if you stay with me, you're, you'll get hurt. Get out of here. Now. You don't mean that. I know you need me. It just... Just let me stay near you for a little while. And if you still don't want me around, if you tell me to go, I'll go. I promise. If we send her away, we don't learn anything about her. So I guess let's go with fair enough. If this goes bad, so be it. Fair enough, but when I say it's time to go, you go. See you later. I wonder, uh, people are bringing up the, the, the unofficial patch might actually change it as well. Which would be nice. Anyway, sup, Chunk? Evening, Chief. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yup. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. I wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. See ya, Chunk. Chunk. Oh, right. It's always this elevator. None of the other ones matter. Why this? Okay. I was like, is that just. I've said be my all I goal? need to for now. Wow. <laughs> it's just glitching out. That's great. What's up? Damn you, big. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to get into a punching contest with that guy before this is done. What did I tell you? It's all over the police radio. Do you comprehend the consequences of your actions? This kind of exposure reeks of the supernatural in mortal eyes. Even the Sabbat aren't this careless. They got in the way. Besides, I did, did like you asked. I explicitly asked you not to harm any of the police officers. I'm only going to tell you this once. If you break the masquerade, if we are exposed, pray that the mortals kill you. For every kindred on this planet will hunt for your blood. I'm losing my patience. What did you see on the ship? Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicated it, indicate it was open from within. Opened? That's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. 
This involves me somehow, doesn't it? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Certainly. Is that all? Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian Primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. So, one of the reasons, if I seem particularly hasty to some degree with this playthrough, one, because I'm trying to get through it, two, because it's really tempting for me to actually uh, do a second run through with maximum, um, with maximum stats as a Melkavian. Like, everything absolutely just capped out. Because I think that would be a lot of, a lot of fun, maybe? Let's see. So we're going to find his mansion at the outskirts of town. Ah, uh, shit. Need a ride. How, do, how do we get there? Grouse Mansion. All right, well, that's easy. Uh, but I think it would be really fun to do, you know, maximum dialogue, maximum power, max, you know, unlimited blood and stuff like that. You. You. What are you doing here? What's with the weird echo? Yo, nine, Nines, what's up? Out now. What, are you looking for Grouse? Into Grout's disappearance too. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Why? What's inside? I am confused. That dialogue feels like it didn't end properly. Wander's urge to cheat rising. Kinda, yeah. Uh, Hmm. Well, this place is downright concerning. Can you please stop stabbing me? I got things to do. I got other things to do. Meet the Melkavians. Hey, meet the Grout. What's up, Grout? It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Huh. I can't get into that one. 
That was actually real well written. I've studied a decent amount of psychology over uh, my couple of years with schooling. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess that worked out, sort of. Well, what else do we got? Is that a magic stick? I think it is. Perception at once... Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is, a capricio is capricious, having various effects on perception. Time and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. Give me that blood back. Thank you very much. Tasty. Wait, aren't these guys supposed to be Melkavians? Or are they humans that... They're probably just humans. I'm gonna assume they're not actually vampires, because that would get complicated. Another unfortunate casualty to Tide of Time. Insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Eh. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Kind of horrifying, honestly. What's up, dude? No claw business. I really? I was really hoping that I could actually, you know, stealth kill some of them. But they seem altogether not susceptible. It was unfortunate. Oh, that's okay. Blood! AST. What is with this weird, like, sucking, slurping noise? I think it's supposed to be her growling, but it really does sound like it. I'm draining her dry, which is horrifying. Anyway. Is that the way I came from? Might be. That's locked. It looks like the blood textures here are screwed up, too. Eh. Get anything useful out of this. Never mind. So I can. Do we have any more of those candles? The answer is very solid no. Hello! So this guy has collision, but like, not really? Weird. Ow. Excuse me, sir. You've slashed me, now you must bleed for my amusement and mainly my health totals. Hey, more audio logs, I like these. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. 
Oh god, shoot off his arms and he's still down there. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Actually, kind of a nice view, especially for the time. Oh. Huh. It's a nice looking place, too. Anywho, down we go. Captain Poncho, don't care for your psychology. Hi. Or your bizarre setups. Your layouts mean nothing to me. Your weird psych patients mere impediments for me to punch harder. Excuse me, sir. You are the most vulnerable of them. Tasty treats. Yum yum, snack man. You know, you really think after a couple of major punches from me, I mean, I do, I hit like a Mack truck. You really think you would have lost some blood from that. Oh. Well. You'd think. Ow. <laughs> that zero damage whammo across the room. Man, I I don't know if strength actually affects ragdolling, but it feels like it does. Oh, we're here. Well, I guess this is probably the right door. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the King's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, so these are one way mirrors. I was wondering about that. It's like. There's mirrors just showing, like, still living ladies, which is confusing. Because they shouldn't be. They shouldn't still be alive. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, I love the narration for this too, by the way. I love audio logs in these games when when handled well, and these are handled amazingly well. Oh, we're up here, finally. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through a scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as perception as the perception thereof. Time is the key that links the two and bears witness their air ebb and flow. Is this still the Bruja? Yep. This is not a short game. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, 
the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old, or poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Quick save before I try and go through this. For good reason. Okay, so there's... I was hoping I could, like, kind of sneak through. Oh, there's a lever behind me, of course. Well, there we go. He doesn't sound Malkavian. I, he's insane. He's just rationally insane-ish, if that makes any sense. What did that do? I turned this one off. And this one off. Okay. Well, I got whatever the hell that is. Uh, so we want to go over here. Like, I know that doesn't sound like particularly useful information, but the guy is still bonkers. That guy doesn't have anything useful on him. Nope. Oh, got it. Whatever it was, I was probably just missing one of them. 